Welcome to In Bed with Natasha. We're here in my bedroom today filming. I have a special guest over from New York, DJ Franco V. Welcome to my bed. Thanks for having me. Yeah, welcome. So I know you've been over here in Milan doing some DJing. Yeah, did the details party the other day. And how did that go? Uh, it was cool. I mean, it was my first time DJing a lot, so it was, that's always fun. But yeah. you've been to Italy before? Or? I have, I have. Growing up, my father's from Croatia, so okay. um, we used to go, and we still do go every, every summer, but we would, a lot of time we'd stop in Italy. Yeah. Here, so I've seen a good amount of it. So, you mean you do a lot of fashion week shows anyway when you DJ? Yeah. Do you um, do many in New York? New York, yeah, and Paris pretty much. Yeah. Um, and so, other than that, I haven't really been to any other fashion week. So, how's Milan like panning out for you? I like it a lot. It's really nice. It's, uh, it, it, it's a little bit like New York, actually. Yeah, yeah, well, so, I always say that. Yeah, too. more so than other, like, your. Yeah, cities. I always say that. I think there's a really fast pace in the city because it's mm -hmm. very much a working city. People are quite stylish as well. Like, yeah, even like the restaurants so, are like. Yeah. You know, pretty similar. It's true. It's true. And the food's always good. So, yeah. so in okay. terms of DJing, when did you start getting into being a DJ? Um, well, I always had, I was always in bands and stuff okay. growing up. And so, um, back in like the early 2000s in New York, playing in a band, like, you would be put on like, you know, bills with other like random bands and mm -hmm. stuff, but like terrible venues and the cover charge would be really high. And so, like, no one would come see you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just, there was no reason for them to come. It's like, why pay this much money to go see one band and then like not know any of the other bands? So like, what we decided to do was uh, start throwing a loft party, mm -hmm. um, where we would like have open bar. We charge like twenty dollars to get in, and then like we'd have all of our friends' bands and artists, and like we had to start yeah. this whole community. Um, and so we would be playing to like three to six hundred people in like a random loft all around New York. What actually playing like live music? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, um, and so from that, like we got like a reputation as like good party for yeah. us. And so then different clubs started approaching us and like asking. So you kind of went into the thing of actually promoting almost before, like from being a band and musician oh, yeah, into well, promoting. Well, just like from being a band, like we were constantly promoting our band. Yeah. Like we used like we were known around like the East Village just from like standing on the streets, <laughs> handing out flyers all the time, like just annoying the fuck out of people. <laughs> um, and so like yeah, so then clubs started like approaching us to see if we would, you know, yeah. throw a party at the place. And initially, like the, our whole vibe was to like do this like DIY, like yeah. in a loft, like no rules, kind of like people could do whatever the fuck they wanted. And you can get away with that in New York City so still? Like, I mean, we got shut down by the cops a lot. Yeah, I and, and then we would always have to move the venue at the next one. Um, but you can get away with it, yeah. I mean, maybe not as much now. This was like, you know, 10 years ago. Yeah, of so. course, it's a bit different. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we did some like really cool stuff. And, like, yeah, then that just led to. Uh, Doing like DJing nights at different clubs, which was a lot easier easier to do than <laughs> yeah, because then it's it's easy because you don't have to bring all this equipment and it's just oh like you just turn it, up. It, it, the, yeah, exactly. Those parties would be like like three days of work. And we, we we would charge money at the door, but like we would also be giving away alcohol. So like just like setting up and like buying kegs and everything, like it was more of like a labor of love. And yeah, like, you know, just because we really wanted to do it. Mm. Um, but it just, it was, like, we would end up making like, a couple hundred bucks or something. Yeah, in the end, like, it wasn't, the money didn't justify the work behind it. But that's only when you start bucks. to grow up and you actually start to yeah, realize that, right. oh, I can yeah. actually make a living from doing this right, exactly. and, instead of having to work some other crappy job. Mm -hmm. So, so when you started doing music then and DJing, what, what kind of music did you start spinning then? Um, well, my first real gigs were, uh, like, normal gigs were at the Beatrice Inn in New yeah. York. Um, because I also bartended there, so yeah. like I kind of like double up. I've done that before. <laughs> yeah. So like, and then like we would do like a Monday party there that became pretty cool. Um, and the the vibe there was mostly like rock music, like yeah. oldies, you know, rock, not too much anything else. So that's basically what I started. Yeah. Like eighties. I remember there used to be a party at Don Hills in New York. Um, Frankie Ingvice was the DJ, and it was called Beaver. Um, every Thursday night at Don Hills when it was like 80s night. Yeah. And like, I think that 
over anything that like in my early days of DJing like had the most influence yeah. because like I just remember like dancing to like that 80s stuff yeah. was always like the most I start, yeah I started DJing like that so I think we probably come from a similar kind of scene mm -hmm. from London and started doing that but today it seems like the whole music industry is completely uh, totally towards different. electronic music oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so you know how, how comfortable did you feel evolving into that? Well I do I mean I do a lot of that I do a lot you of mix it and I, yeah th that now for me is like one of the that's like the most fun part of DJing is like trying to mix like a Elvis Presley song with like you know just like I don't know any like electronic yeah you know, or hip hop or whatever like just like crossing the genres and like mixing them together so they actually like work and it's it's not like oh where did this come from it's just like they kind of like flow into each other if you can I feel like if you can do that well and like. That, that creates really that, cool it's like that, that kind of eclectic sound that works really well when mm -hmm. it comes to the fashion industry. Oh, yeah, know, yeah, that's what well. they like to yeah, hear. But then when you go outside that and you go into the club world, it it's, just feels like yeah, you're definitely like you have to be more in like yeah, as, yeah, like the electronic or like in, in New York still hip hop is is like it's big, is big. So that, that and that's easy, you know. So but and the electronic stuff I think is easy too. It's not as fun to. To do that for me, it's just because I mean, with that stuff, like the beat is just it's always the same exact yeah. thing, and like so mixing, it may, can be fun, but like I for me, like to keep it, to stay interested in it, like yeah, because I feel like I'm kind of in those two worlds now between because of, with my club night that I sponsor a part of, we did this, we we started very much on on this kind of eclectic style, and that was all about and that's what I do and that's what I love because I come from. A love of music, you right. know, just all different genres yeah. of music. Yeah, of so it's hard to just decide that you're just going to be one thing. Yeah, I never, I couldn't, I never like could understand when people are like, I'm only this type of DJ. I was like, how, like, is that the only music you listen to? Like, yeah. how is that possible? You know, like. Yeah, yeah, of course. For me, like, getting into DJing in the beginning was like about like, you know, it's about having like that control of, over yeah. the room, but like also like, like maybe like getting people into music that they weren't into before, you know, yeah. like, like seeing people dancing to a, like a Chuck Berry song after like a Capital City song or whatever, yeah. it's like cool, like it's not expected, but it, when it works, it's really cool. So nowadays in New York, what do you, I mean, how many times a week do you do for instance? Usually like three or four. Oh my God, does it <laughs> never get to a point where you think I'm exhausted? Oh yeah, I'm, I could, if I could do something else. So what else, I mean, so what do you, yeah. what else does one do? I mean, would you go back into the party organizing? Or? No, 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 God, no. Um, <laughs> right now I, uh, I make furniture as well. Yeah. So, um, I just got a workshop, uh, in Brooklyn, Bushwick. Wow, that's amazing. Um, where me and a friend of mine are going to be like, yeah, just making stuff. Like I've, I've made a bunch of stuff already, but only for my apartment. Wow. So I'm going to start. That's really super cool. So basically, you might be coming over here for the furniture fair then. Like that would be amazing. And doing so, so basically, what I'm saying is that there is, because I always felt that when TJ, you have to go into, you, there's two directions. If you stay in that, you either start producing music. I do that too, yeah. yeah or you basically go into the organization of the events behind right, you. Yeah, you I, know, I don't, I don't It's like that. too much hard work, basically. That's not hard work. It's just like that, you know, it's that, like that aspect of, I've done that before. It just yeah. doesn't. It's like a lot of, it's a big headache. You yeah, know? yeah, like, yeah. I don't know, it's just not. Yeah, it is a big headache. It's <laughs> not like you in your moan zone, like making You have to work. worry too much about stuff. Yeah, I know. I'm stressed <laughs> out. Like, so when you're producing, what kind of stuff are you producing? Um, lately, just like remixes and stuff. Okay. Um, I don't really do too much of my own music anymore. Um, just because, I, I don't know. It's, yeah. There's no, I, I have no like... It's not something you want to pursue or like push. I mean, yeah, not really push. Like if I have an idea and I think it's cool, like maybe I'll run with it for a yeah. little bit. But like I'm not like actively trying yeah. to be a musician anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm over it. Yeah. So, which is the instrument that you're playing for you as a musician? Um, I was a singer in both of my bands. Yeah. Um, but I also was a uh, songwriter, so okay. I play like guitar and yeah. Um, like I can pretty much like sit at, at with any instrument and like. And be yeah. able to figure out yeah. and handle it. Yeah. So top songs on your playlist right now if you're going out to party. Mm -hmm. Top songs. That's always a difficult one. Yeah. I always like, get that and I'm like, I can't. And like, you know, I go somewhere and go, I love that song. Why didn't I say that? Basically? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I don't know. I think 
in terms of like new stuff, um, the new Iggy Azalea song, okay, yeah. so that's, I mean, it's just like, like something like that gets some room yeah. like, very excited very easily. So like that's, yeah, you yeah. know, like, uh, and I just did a remix of that actually, or I'm in the process of, of doing it. Um, I don't know, I can't, you know, I'm drawing a blank right now. Just... <laughs> We're like, okay, so that's one basically. Which is the, the, the favorite spots to DJ in New York? Hmm. Currently. Or even in the past, if you want. Uh, you know, New York's in a weird place right now with nightlife, I feel like. Um, there isn't, like, when there was, like, the Beatrice or something. Yeah, like, why isn't, what's, what's going on then? Why isn't there, like, a scene in one place? Um, it's just so spread out right now, you mm -hmm. know, like, and a lot of, like, the bigger, um, you know, like, uh, clubs, like One Oak and, yeah. you know, the strategic group yeah, and all yeah. their places um, have like taken all like a lot of people yeah. from who were part of that like original scene and like put them in different you know like yeah. they have the budget to hire whoever yeah, they want yeah. so like and they put them in different places so it's just all spread out. <laughs> Do you go out clubbing yourself when you're not working? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd rather just stay. <laughs> you basically don't go out and be like, do you have DJs that you follow though? And be like, I really like that DJ or... Yeah, of course. I, but like, it's not like, you know, just like friends and stuff. Yeah. But like, it's still like, I wouldn't like go out just to see some like DJ. a DJ. A like, DJ. You wouldn't yeah. be like following that whole like, electronic thing that's happening around Sonar Music Festival or something no, like that. No, no, no. You'd just be like, I want to relax. Yeah, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you mean, like, I would like to just be at home relaxing, and I can't, do you find that you can't listen to music? It's, it's like, at home hard. sometimes? Yeah, I, I kind of stopped listening to music a long time ago. Yeah, that's great, <laughs> what is wrong? I, I, I like only listen, about that. me too, I only actually ever really listen to music when I'm like trying to download new music, that's like the only time. Yeah. And even that is like, it feels like work. <laughs> yeah, exactly, because sometimes when I'm in my, my zone and I'm working on a project or something, I find it, it's almost like it's distracting for me to listen to music yeah. sometimes. Oh yeah. Because yeah, I'll be yeah. either thinking, oh yeah, that's a great song or something else, and then I can't, or it's just like, it feels so busy, you know, that moment feels so busy. Yeah, in my head it, it was just like have. something really nice about being in a room and not having to listen to music. Exactly. <laughs> so your summer plans, are you going to be back in New York? Uh, back in New York. Well, no, after Milan, we fly to Chile. And oh my god, what are you doing in Chile? Uh, some hotel opening. Okay. Uh, and then back to New York. Uh, and then I'm going to Croatia at the end of August. Okay, so you'll have like a little bit of a rest. Yeah, take it. a break. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in bed with me. And uh, yeah, pleasure. if you want to listen to Franco's DJ set, not here right now in the bedroom because of one no music. <laughs> take care and bye. bye.